Hello, I am Deepan Shadukhan and today I am going to show you how to use Amazon QCLI. There is a new game called Build with Amazon QCLI and it's the page where you can see all the instructions. Let's create a new repository first and then head on to create a first game. Are you guys excited? I am very much excited. So now let's create the repository and then save it in our local machine and open it with github desktop so now it's opened with vs code i am using vs code you can use any ide now the next part is to open the new terminal and here first we we would like to open the q the qcli interface using qchat it's because of the uh, I have installed already. You can install it by seeing any tutorial video. I will add a link in the description. Now let's head on to ChatGPT and formulate our ideas. So we are trying to get an arcade based uh, game launcher where there will be four games. So let's ask ChatGPT to find us some games which you can use in our project. Let's see what it gives us. That's that's great. That's really great. So the so first one is Pixel Heist. Let's see what else it has given us. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's ask ChatGPT to formulate the documentation or the prompt that we'll use for the QCLI interface to create our first game repository. to describe everything in the prompt so that it gets the maximum number of context to build exactly what you want so here it has given the folder structure how our games will look like and additional details everything so what i will do first i will copy this oh sorry 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 i need to copy the whole thing let's delete it and create a new terminal yeah that's it So I have to copy the whole thing and I will use it a chat a notebook online notepad where I will edit the prompt. I will remove this, remove this. Okay, yeah. So now it has started thinking. You can see it's generating. Meanwhile, we can describe the other uh, use the uh, chat GPT to describe other games so that we get a detailed prompt on how each game will look like for the sound effects i think we need to add it manually but let's see how much it can pull off and here the t means we are trusting it with running the commands and you see you can it has created all the repositories I mean the folders and here our prompt is ready about the first game let's include all this and go to our online notepad and trim the prompt get this should I delete this or should I keep it? I think it would be better to keep this. Let's see what it does.
now let's let it think and then we'll paste our top I hope it doesn't run into an error. Because I saw many one many people are facing the issue of running into an error. So let's see. Okay, so it's done. And yeah. You can see all the code. So we need to paste the new prompt for developing each game. And let's hit enter. And yeah, there's an error. Just hit continue. It will fix itself. It's very intelligent. There you go. It will take a couple of minutes. I have fast forward the video for your convenience. So let's see. Our first prototype is ready. And yeah, it's nothing inside. But at least it is done in the interface. Let's ask it to continue with the new portions and all the interfaces internally. Let's see what it does. So yeah, again, a prototype is ready and this time it's much better. Oh, it's it's a nice interface. Like I have, I think you have seen those YouTube ads where soldier needs to find. Yeah, I need to figure out the controls. Okay, so it's using WASD and not the arrow keys. Okay, let's ask it to changes, make some changes. I think there's an issue in the back command, it's not working. So guys, finally it's done and let's check it out. The UI is quite nice. It's a retro theme. Oh wow. Okay, okay. Okay, arrows for movement, shift for run, okay. Oh, there is a noise bar as well. Damn, that's that's really clever. Okay. So it's basically if we come in the proximity of that circle, it's gonna turn red. Okay, okay. And after that few times it won't gonna Turn back to normal. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So let's quit the menu and move forward to the next game. So here's the next game. The vertical movement needs to be paced up. The UI is quite nice, I expected a lot less and it's functioning quite well, it's counting the scores properly, okay. Aren't there any other controls, I should have added other controls or some more aircrafts. 
let's see what you guys come up with okay game over so i was trying on creating another repository for much more simpler games so this is the one one two three four for the colors change the color okay and shoot space for shoot okay this this repository contains four games that's much more simpler than the previous one it took me around three to four hours to create the whole repository i'll ping the link in the description do check out okay so these are oh, okay those these are the speed up the circles okay oh there's a slow motion one right that's that's very good that's 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 very good okay so this is a maze game it's quite fast if you guys think i fast forward the video it's not like that it's really quite fast it's quite sensitive oh shit it's quite sensitive i need to figure out to press it just right yeah okay collect them all collect them all okay and it's victory let's check out the last game what the hell is just a black back screen and here's the code i'll ping the uh, link of the uh, repository do check it out thank you